the hidden wall that bans all life from the center of the galaxy, and were drifting toward it. For decades, astronomers believed the Milky Way was a relatively calm, predictable spiral, stars orbiting in graceful arcs, cosmic dust forming new worlds, and a quiet black hole resting at the center. But deep within that center lies something far more unsettling, a colossal barrier where the very laws that make life possible seem to fail. Scientists now call it the galactic zone of avoidance, a hidden wall of radiation, gravitational turbulence, and molecular chaos that effectively bans all life. What's even more haunting is that our solar system is not fixed in space. It's drifting, slowly, steadily, toward this galactic center. And every few hundred million years, life on Earth feels the consequences. The galactic center isn't what most people think it is. The heart of the Milky Way sits roughly 26,000 light years away, in the direction of the Sagittarius constellation. At its core lies Sagittarius A, a supermassive black hole about 4 million times the mass of the Sun. Around it the galaxy swirls like a cosmic whirlpool, but this isn't a peaceful spiral, it's a storm. The central few hundred light years are filled with intense magnetic fields, rogue radiation bursts, and molecular clouds so dense they collapse into new stars faster than anywhere else. To ordinary life forms, this environment is lethal. Cosmic rays blast through space with enough energy to shatter DNA. Supernovae go off in clusters, sterilizing entire regions. Radiation levels there would vaporize an unshielded human in seconds. In many ways, it's the ultimate no-go zone of the galaxy, a biological dead zone. What's fascinating is that ancient cultures might have sensed something unusual about this region. Early astronomers from Mesopotamia and Mesoamerica described the galactic bulge as a dark river or forbidden band in the sky, while the Mayans linked it to cycles of destruction and rebirth. Modern science, through infrared and radio telescopes, has confirmed their fears weren't baseless. The center of the galaxy truly is where chaos reigns. The hidden wall that blocks life isn't a physical wall, but a violent boundary. When astrophysicists refer to a wall, they're not talking about a structure you could see or touch. They mean a transition zone where conditions change so dramatically that the rules for chemistry and life itself no longer apply. Between the outer galactic disk where we live and the central bulge lies a turbulent boundary shaped by gravitational tides and radiation pressure. This is the molecular ring, a vast donut-shaped region about a thousand light years wide. It's packed with ionized gas, magnetized dust and shockwaves from nearby supernova. Molecules essential for life, like water and carbon compounds, are broken apart faster than they can form. It's like a giant sterilizing field that cleanses everything drifting too close. Beyond that ring lies the true core, where gravitational tides twist even light itself into distorted spirals. For life as we know it, this is a natural barrier, a quarantine line drawn by the laws of physics. Earth's position, halfway out on one of the Milky Way's spiral arms, is not an accident of chance. It's a safety margin, far enough from the chaos to allow biology to flourish, but close enough to receive just the right dose of cosmic nutrients. Radiation for mutation, heavy elements for planets, and long periods of calm for evolution. So, we are slowly but steadily drifting toward that deadly boundary. The solar system doesn't orbit the galaxy in a perfect circle. Instead, it follows this elliptical kind of bobbing path that oscillates above and below the galactic plane every 30 million years or so. Over hundreds of millions of years, we actually complete one full orbit around the Milky Way, about every 225 to 250 million years. And during that journey, we drift through different galactic environments. Dense molecular clouds, radiation belts, and sometimes regions affected by past supernovae. Evidence from Earth's fossil record, you know, hints that these cosmic migrations may not be harmless. Roughly every 30 million years, there are these spikes in extinction events, mass die-offs of marine life, sudden climate swings, and disruptions in the ozone layer. Some astrophysicists actually believe these line up with our solar system's periodic plunges through denser galactic regions, where cosmic rays increase dramatically. 
We're currently in a relatively calm part of the Orion Arm, but over the next tens of millions of years, our slow drift brings us closer toward the central regions, not close enough to reach the lethal core itself, but close enough that changes in galactic radiation and interstellar density could influence Earth's climate and potentially biological evolution. Every intelligent civilization that arises in the galaxy faces the same problem location. If it's born too close to the galactic center, the constant bombardment of gamma rays, magnetars, and black hole outbursts wipes it out before it can evolve. Too far out, and there may not be enough heavy elements to form complex chemistry. This creates what some researchers call the galactic habitable zone, a thin ring where, you know, conditions for life are just right. Understanding this wall at the center isn't just a matter of cosmic curiosity, it's key to understanding why, maybe, we might be alone. Even if millions of civilizations have arisen throughout galactic history, most would have been erased by these periodic sterilizing events long before they could build lasting empires. It's not the lack of intelligence that limits life, it's the physics of the galaxy itself. For survivalists and long-term thinkers, this offers a sobering lesson. The forces that shape life are not confined to our planet. Our solar system's slow drift through the Milky Way exposes us to cosmic cycles we barely understand. Just as ancient farmers tracked the stars to anticipate floods and seasons, modern humanity must learn to read the galactic patterns that govern planetary stability. Long-term survival isn't only about politics or technology. It's about understanding our cosmic position and, honestly, preparing for the slow but inevitable changes it brings. Practically, this awareness changes how we view planetary defense and future colonization. If radiation spikes or climate shifts are partially tied to our galactic environment, monitoring cosmic rays and magnetic field variations becomes as vital as tracking carbon levels or solar storms. Scientists already use deep ice cores and tree rings to measure ancient cosmic radiation surges, giving clues to when we've passed through dangerous regions before. Future space habitats might be designed with this galactic awareness in mind, thick shielding, underground colonies and orbit selection based on long-term cosmic radiation maps. Just as sailors once studied ocean currents, future explorers will chart the safe zones of the Milky Way avoiding the hidden wall that bans life and staying within the narrow band where life can endure. The hidden wall at the center of the galaxy reminds us of one simple truth, survival depends on awareness. The galaxy is alive with power, beauty, and destruction, and Earth, for all its fragility, sits in a rare and temporary refuge. Our drift toward the center is slow but inevitable. Understanding it is not just science, its strategy for the species that wants to endure beyond the next galactic turn. If you found this deep dive into the Milky Way's forbidden heart valuable, subscribe to Strange Planet and share this with others who seek truth beyond the surface. The universe hides its lessons in plain sight, it's up to us to keep uncovering them.